I started editing and I realized I didn't even make an intro at all, okay? This is probably the shortest video ever, but let me introduce myself. Hi, I am Callie or Kalila. No, I'm Kalila or Callie and I'm a crochet artist, a knit artist. And today I'm going to be knitting the novice sweater or for this video, I'll be knitting the novice sweater chunky edition by Petite Knit using Drops Melody. It is a nice fluffy yarn and it is 71% alpaca, 25% wool, 4% polyamide. And I'll be pairing it with Drops Kid Silk Mohair. This is not a new yarn to you guys because I use Drops Kid Silk Mohair all the time. Like all the time. I love it. It's one of my favorites. It's very, very affordable. And I feel like it's a good introduction to mohair if people want to get mo good mohair because it's mohair and silk but for a pretty reasonable price in my opinion. But I will be pairing these two together and it, oh my gosh, I have already finished the sweater at this point. I filmed an outro and everything. So you guys will see that at the end of the video, but it is just the most beautiful combination ever. Like it, it blended in so well, you can't even see this color or this color individually. It created one nice gray color and I'm just in love with it. So I really didn't, hmm, I guess I say I didn't film much because I was just so focused on making the sweater itself that filming it was like, uh, not really in the forefront of my mind. And, and this is a vlog, so it's just nice, sweet, short. So let's get on with the video. I've filmed for this video so far but I know it's not a lot but right now I'm just chilling outside in my backyard with my cats and I want to show you guys what I have done so far I don't know if you guys can see this let me see if I could fix the brightness okay so this is supposed to be a folded collar so it's supposed to really look like this but I didn't knit the collar together I don't like how tight it gets so I'm just gonna sew it either after I finish the yoke or after I finish the entire sweater and just sew it at the end it's so easy so that's not even like a vital part but like I said at the beginning I'm doing the novice sweater it is so easy like I did a read through and I knew it was gonna be easy from that but like doing it oh my gosh literally I'm halfway done with the yoke. Let me show you. Well, I'm going to be halfway done with the yoke soon. 
this is what it is looking like so far. I am in love, especially with this color combo. Like, you can see how gray it is. Well, no, you can't. Let me turn the brightness down. Okay, maybe you can see it now, like how gray it is with just that splash of silvery white mohair. Oh my gosh, I am in love. And sorry for all the extra noise, hold on. And sorry for all the extra noise that's coming from the wind. Anyway, I am very, very happy with where I'm at right now. From from just this, where I'm at right now, I would 100% recommend it for any beginner. I would say it's easier than a Louisiana sweater because you don't have to worry about any raglan stitches. You just have to increase and that's it. And it's like so perfect, but yeah, I'm just gonna knit and chill. Since this is a vlog, I don't really have to do many updates like I usually do, but I don't know. I could just chill and knit it and it's gonna be a mindless knit. I feel like I'll be done with this within a week, which is good, especially since it's on seven millimeter needles. Oh my gosh, it's gonna fly. So I'm gonna knit and chill. I'll talk to you guys later. the library right now with my sister Kahila <laughs> and we're just gonna knit there crochet are you gonna crochet or knit crochet she's gonna crochet there I'm gonna knit and I'm still working on my novice sweater I think I showed you guys like a little clip of an update I will show you guys again when I'm in the library but you know sometimes if you want some mojo knitting mojo some what do you call that motivation it's good to just go to different places to knit and crochet. And the library is literally a perfect spot because it's so quiet, so nice, so chill. And yeah, I just like I just like going there mainly cuz I'm a bookworm, but you know, also because it it's a nice place to just chill and knit and crochet. So, that's what I'm going to do and I suggest you guys do that too cuz it's it's very relaxing.
shorter. Oh, the trash people are here. Anyway, made it a little shorter. But it's the neck, it's the body. And now I'm working on the sleeve. I am, oh, I'm almost done. Halfway, or a little more than halfway. Just look at how nice this looks. Oh my goodness. Look at how seamless the sleeve is. Ignore that. Let's just do like this. Ah, look at how seamless the sleeve is. Dude, you know what's a godsend? This right here. Stitch holder. Definitely get it. Amazon. Cheap. Alright. But. So close to being done. Okay guys, I have finished the sweater. It took me 15 days to finish. I could have finished it in like mm, a week and a few days, but I literally went so slow on this. I was taking so many breaks throughout the days that I've been that I was knitting on it and it's just oh, I was just I just felt so lazy on this sweater, but I got it done in a good amount of time. Let me show you. This is the finished sweater. Oh my gosh, it looks so freaking good. Like, let me show you how long it is. It's like this. So this is my waist right here. This is a very oversized sweatshirt I have on, but this stops right, like if I have it right up here, this stops like mm, right above my crotch area the sleeves stop like at a normal length like here and oh my gosh i am just so in love with it because it is so soft the yarn that i use is drops melody and drops kid silk mohair and a drops melody is a an alpaca wool and polyamide mixture but it's like brushed so it's very very fuzzy and very soft because of the alpaca the pattern that I used, I know I already said all this at the beginning, but still, the pattern that I used is the Novice Sweater Chunky Edition by Petite Knit. That is the easiest sweater on the face of the planet. If I would recommend something for a total beginner, if they wanted to make a sweater, I would totally recommend any of the Novice Editions. So she has like three. She has the regular, like Novice Sweater, just regular edition. She has Novice Sweater Mohair Edition and then the Novice Sweater Chunky Edition, which is what I just did. And it is so easy. It's just a yoke sweater. You do increases and that's it. 
The second one I would recommend is the first sweater that I did, which is the Louisiana sweater, which is just a raglan type of construction. So easy as well. But this is definitely the easiest sweater I have ever made. It is so beautiful. I haven't even blocked it yet and it drapes so nicely already. I think it's because of the alpaca. But I'm going to try it on for you guys, even though I haven't blocked it yet. I'll still try it on, show you how it will be, because after I block it, it's definitely going to have much, much better drape. Like when I lift up my arms, you won't see the bottom lifting up. And when it will stretch longer to be the exact size that I want it to be. So I'm going to try it on and then show you guys really quickly. Okay, this is the sweater on me. Let me stand up so you guys can really, really see. So this is the bottom of it. It hits right above my crotch. The sleeves are right around here. I'm going to, when I block it, I'm going to stretch it just so that it can hit, hit my wrist exactly like that. So it's not that far from it. I'm just gonna stretch it to go like that. But I love how the sleeves are not like cinched and they're just open. I don't know what kind of construction that's called, but you see when I, when I go like this and the bottom raises, when I block it, that's gonna eliminate it. But you can see how nice and like, look at the color. Oh my gosh. I am just in love with this sweater so much. I cannot wait to block it and just start wearing it. And this is a sweater I will wear for sure. The first sweater I made, I probably won't ever wear it, let's be honest, because it's, it's the first sweater, you know, Things went well, but mm, it's too true to size. Like that sweater made me realize that I really don't care for very, very true to size anything unless it's like a tank top or something. And this has enough positive ease. Oh, I made the size small. I didn't gauge anything because I never gauge and I don't ever plan to, but I made a size small and this gives me the ease, enough ease that I like without feeling like it's so close to my body. So I can't wait to block it. Let me know what you guys think. Would you ever make this sweater and what color you would make it in? Because I like this color that I made it in. I wanted something neutral because the past, I don't know, few sweaters I've been making, it has been all colorful and that's really not my jam, surprisingly. I like yarn, so I buy any color, but like the colors that I truly, truly love are like neutrals and dark tone colors. But you know, I made sweaters in different colors just so that I can get out of my comfort zone. And I think that really helped me expand my creativity when it comes to making sweaters and making garments in general. But I'm so happy with this sweater. I will 100% be wearing it. You guys will see me wearing this in another video sometime. I don't know when, probably after I block it. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye.